Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the Castleward Tunnel. Castleward? Question mark. Margit is in the way, so... Yeah. I think we know the answer. Welcome back to Elden Ring. It has been far too long. By which I mean it's been just a couple of hours since we last played. I, I don't know how I made it, honestly. We did leave um, a big old stack of souls in there next to Margit. That was my bad. I do apologize. However, I've, I've run around since and remade most of them. Let me go ahead and not make the same mistake. We'll try to actually get, um... something? Ooh, something delightful. We've sort of passed our stage one of leveling up. We have all of our basic skills, the ones we really need, uh, at, a, at a strong foundation. And now I need to figure out which ones are we going to bump up to 20. There are certain things that, regardless of your class, will just always be helpful. Vigor is one of them. Health, hooray. Endurance, that's tied directly to your stamina. Stamina, hooray. So those are my main two as a warrior. And then mind is also important, because though I haven't been using many of my weapon skills yet, I'm sure I will be eventually. We'll find something too cool to pass up. So, let me see how many... just one? Oh no, never mind. The red, it frightens me so. I get confused. We can get one each of those, and then we're out. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. So we will have two, six, six, seven. There's a stack of like 5,000 sitting in there as well. Um... Dare we risk it? The thing that I was suggested at the end of last session, as we got ourselves pounded in the face was uh, to try the jellyfish, which I do have active and equipped for jellyfish purposes. Sorcerer Rogier might also uh, help us out, but let me just go on a souls rescuing mission here. Here's your jellyfish. Enjoy that. Alright, now we dodge. Good. You get involved with that jellyfish. I still have his shackle equipped. There you go, there's your shackle equipped. You and your delayed techniques. It's very tricky. I shouldn't have taken that one. Should have rolled. Okay, he's already in his hammer phase. Don't you flatter me. You flatter me at a time like this. He doesn't seem to be taking any poison damage. That's what I was really hoping the jellyfish would uh, get going for me. Oh, nope. run away! Run away now! <laughs> okay, we're fine. Everything's fine and dandy. I just cannot seem to get myself to roll away. Half health, jellyfish. Go ahead and take those runes back. Yikes. All right, now it's time for flasks. Delicious. Poor jellyfish. Poor me. How about that poison damage? You ready for it? Oh, I missed. Stunning. Every time I think I'm safe. I'm not safe. I'm never gonna be safe. Hello, hello, this is Elden Ring. Welcome to it. All right, there goes my distraction. He is, however, actually poisoned. Spamming that roll, goodness. So that'll help. Stay poisoned, would you? Better keep up the offensive. I'm not gonna have many chances. whole work day will sure take you right out of your zone. <laughs> It'll also give you clammy hands, which make you get stabbed. I was wiping, sir. Give me a moment. So I don't think that poison is going to fully take him out. Like I said, I need to keep up the offensive in order to do enough damage for this to work. I am not blocking anything ever.
back to that flask. Mm, you know I like to coddle it, so... Why the double? Why the double at a time like this? You're only supposed to be able to do one of those. So many potions wasted. <laughs> and still, he does not give up in his second phase. All right. So that was our rescue mission. We have now a pile of 8,000. Oh, someone in the group defeated the shard bearer. That is a, a new thing I added. I was watching some Vati's new videos on Elden Ring. And he's got a group of uh, people called the Seekers that you can put in their password. Seekers, ironically enough. And then their messages, it's the same as any player message, but they will be a different color. So slightly more import. So jellyfish did work great. Wonderful distraction in the first phase. Actual poison in the second phase. If I do better, I think me and the jellyfish can, can handle this. I'm hearing tell we can also bring Sorcerer Rogier into this, so... I mean, maybe that'll really put us over the edge. I'm one of those people in From Software games, if this means anything to you, that uh, any way you can beat the boss is a win. I don't subscribe to that no summoning nonsense. I will be summoning. Alright, we have two distractions in play, taking it back to our health. Let me go ahead and knock him down a peg. That's a good one. I'll take that. Yeah! Critical hit. Let's knock him down a peg. Once again. Almost didn't work. I could have gotten one more in. I could have been greedy. Are you poisoned yet? Are you poisoned, Roger? Somebody's got to be poisoned by now. Hammer out. That's phase two. Another critical hit. Thanks, Rogier. Out of there. Get out of there. All right. Just in case. A little extra rolling. Which way is that going to go? Which way are you pointing? No. <laughs> Sorcerer Rogier. health. A little less now. He's not poisoned yet. I still have fish. Fish in our jellyfish. Tail hit. Really? He is poisoned. Good. Get that health. Don't, don't die first, though. Get that health. Okay, one more. Why not? I'm feeling thirsty. Poor little jellyfish. Ah. Oh. All right, we're all alone again. It does seem to me... I've, I've sort of heard it both ways from folks at this point. It does seem to me that adding summons increases his health bar. Because, I mean, we alone got him down lower than this at one point. So it's, like, very, very helpful. The distraction is great. The poison is great. I'm wondering if we should just go ahead and solo it. However, I'm not really uh, dead set on retrieving these souls. I'm still calling them souls. That's rude. They're not souls. They're runes. It is so nice to see you guys there. Hello, hello, and welcome to the fun. Thank you for watching me die. That will continue to happen. So, uh, if I venture off into the wider world, my souls will be in my runes. Oh, I'm so naughty. Will be in danger of being removed from me forever. I don't mind that. There are a couple of items. I've been desperately trying not to spoil things for myself. Especially outside of Limgrave. Limgrave is my my home, my little tutorial area. And there are a couple of items I've missed early on, I believe, such as the whetstone knife, which we've seen in a couple of tooltips. I don't have that. 
There's also apparently a selection of tailor's tools that will allow you to visually customize your clothing. If I'm understanding right, it might be an upgrade and a visual customization. So I keep forgetting uh, that you don't need to rest. <laughs> you don't need to rest at the site of grace in order to fast travel. In one of them, I want to say two and three maybe, you could fast travel by sitting at a site of grace. And so that's what I try to do every time now. Okay, so in Limgrave... I'm sorry, it's been a very long day. I'm very excited. In Limgrave, <laughs> we passed by this coastal cave a couple of times on our way to the nomadic merchant on the beach. What a party we had. I think they call it a blanket bingo? I don't know why. And I'm realizing now we never actually went in the cave. I got the sight of grace, and then I ran back to the nomadic merchant. And I hear a rumor that the tailoring tools might be locked behind this cave. So, let's take a look. It's very dark down here. It's, it's very dark, and yet I'm unshielded. Time to go. All right. I do find the constant player messages to be a little distracting. It was a little bit nice when we were playing mandatorily in offline mode. Not seeing so much visual clutter, but it's fine. They have a lovely glow to them. I'm not criticizing. I came out there. There is another passage here. It's full of skeletons leaving the cave. Goodbye, sir. Attract more. I want to attract more folks. That looks like a big swing. Are you done? I couldn't see if you were done or not. All right, pillage that corpse. I'm also hearing uh, a small tip that might benefit me in the future. Some of these items that grow in caves, like this, do not ever come back. They're like a one-time, this is as many as you get. I'm used to games giving you as many herbs as you can possibly pick from the cave, and I know some of them do respawn. But there's some stuff like glove wart, which you need to upgrade your spirit ashes, that does not respawn. So I'm trying to be a little more thorough in my herbage. All up in my herbage. a shield. See? That's the difference between a shield and just a regular stick of wood. Alright. Slippery. I'm sorry I oiled you down so much before the big game. I do believe somewhere there is a lantern item that you can actually stick to your belt, too. Which sounds amazing. I would really like to have that. Especially in this cave. Don't hit me! I beg of you! Huh. The other player's bloodstones illuminate... Blood stains, rather. Illuminate him quite nicely. That worked out. All right. String. Um, the height of fashion. How, where, which part of my body do I entwine? All right, there's finally a source of light. Land octopus ovary. You know, that's not what I expected to slip into my cargo pants, but okay. I'll, I'll pick it up. Yeah. Fortnite! Get out of here. Poor. Poor, I say. You're nothing to me. A friend. So is this an NPC summon? That's likely bad news. Hmm. Okay. That's why they give you light, so that you can die and see yourself doing so. It's old knight Istvan. He's a lovely gentleman. Uh, I can't wait for you to meet him. I've never met him myself, but I'm just assuming. Yes, we'll take him. First time through, it's, I always find it to be fun to see the NPC summons. 
And if they help me out in the battle, oh, all the better. Istvan, I will greet you formally, as is my wont. Mmm, a bow in the darkness. You didn't even look back. A little bit, um, inobservant to my needs, Istvan. Here we go. I hear gurgling. Ooh, is this like a big army situation? It's the catch. Oh, there's the catch. He's sleeping. I see him now. Didn't get one in. Should have. He's screaming in his sleep. Beast one, you doing good? You hanging in there, buddy? I should really get rid of some of these guys. Stop it. Oh, he's doing fine. He's got this under control. <laughs> oh, nasty. Almost got me with his sharp knife. Alright, Eastvon is gonna die soon. I should really be helping him. Oh, I made a mistake with your daggers, did you? That'll happen to all of us. Alright, time for a potion. Desperately time for a potion. Get out of range, would you? Okay. Eastvon is down. And so am I. They are not wildly healthy. Neither am I. The fact that there are still two of them is a shame. I wish that me and Istvan were double-teaming one of them together. That's not the way to say it. All right, we'll try again. <laughs> He's screaming in his sleep because you're the stuff of his nightmares, you fiend, you. Stop it. I've gone bright red. And not just because it's 75 degrees in here. <laughs> I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but I'm from Colorado. It's... 75 degrees. Okay, so we have to go all the way back down there, fighting the many, many... Are these demi-humans? If they are the demi-human chieftain... I've been calling them goblins. That's probably not the term. Let's see if I can make it back down with any of my flasks and ass intact. Don't alert the others with your shield. That's clearly a no-no. I thought you had died from the first one. Interesting. I was, I was just wrong. No. Oh, I, I keep making that mistake. I'm thinking there's no health bar left. It's safe to proceed. There's no health bar left for you. Enjoy that in your face. Why are his eyes glowing? What does this mean? Oh! <laughs> Devastating to my pride. He gave me a lot of souls. 210 versus, like, I thought the other guys were giving me 60 or so. So are the glowing eyes... Is that a shiny Pokemon? that I found. I wonder what that means for item drops, too. I'll take all the runes I can get. Thank you for that. Yikes. Good. But I'm wondering if the golden-eyed guys also have a higher chance of dropping their item. Like, typically how it works is everybody, every enemy type, has the chance to drop one or several items, but you have to kill them again and again and again before... You'll ever see that happening. So I'm curious. I'll keep my eye out for more golden eyes. It was very repetitive. So in this situation, I don't really mind him adding more health to the guys, because there are just so many guys, it evens out. I'll try it. And I should remember to maybe activate a spirit, if it'll let me. Who knows if it will. Why do I have so little health? 
It's because I didn't do well is why, but... Mm, I'm groping for excuses. Let's bring a little jellyfish into the fun. I do want to, if at all possible, take out these tiny guys first. Like, all of them. There's more down that way. Yep. Poisoned. Alright, I'm just gonna try to help him. And get savaged in the back by the guy I forgot to kill. Back to Health Flask. And back to East Bob. Stop it. Give me that critical hit. Good job, East Bob. One down. And also me. Right, back to the flask. I'm arriving! <laughs> Wasn't very effective. Just like when I usually arrive. Oh, one more hit and he's dead. Alright, just little guys. Aww. <laughs> Tailoring tools. There's the one. That's what I've been so excited about. I guess we've lost East Farm. Thank you for your help. Okay, tailoring tools. Stop shooting me. I'm friendly. Thank you. Wow, my face is... Mm, my face is covered in blood. A sewing needle also. Let's go check out both of those items. All right, so we can officially forget about the souls, the runes. I'll learn that are in Margit's arena. They should be gone now, after my first painfully embarrassing death. I actually like that. That's like when you're, you know, playing Guitar Hero or something back in the day. You, millennials will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, when you play Guitar Hero and you haven't missed a note is always how I feel playing Dark Souls. It's like... When all of your souls are on the line, you're not at your best. You're thinking about your souls. So I'd rather be poor and happy in this instance. Okay, making sure I don't leave any herbs, etc. This is the way we came. Herbs, etc. We did get those silver fireflies. I'm just being greedy now. More of them. Who are you defending against that's that way? Why are you defending that way? Now I'm scared. All right. We do have a thingy to take us back to the entrance, and yet, typically we've only found those at the dead end of the dungeon. And we're, we're not at the dead end of the dungeon. And I wonder why. All right, I'm gonna have to find that lantern item. Because I need my shield and my ability to see concurrently. Where does this lead? We're really traveling under here. All right. A smoldering butterfly. Wow, just as they appeared and screeched, someone made like a really loud stomping noise upstairs. Scared the pants off of me. Luckily the camera's high enough, you can't see that sort of thing. No. I don't care if it's dark, I'll whoop your ass. I'm gonna do it. Ah, oh, his poor ass. Okay, I did warn him, in my defense. I can actually still smell the human on these bones. Yeah. That smells like human. Ask any dog, they'll tell you. We're free! I, I can see again. Is that... Oh, is this the island? You go all the way under the ocean to the island. That's why we couldn't spy a visible bridge. That's how they get you. I'm so happy we made it. There must be a site of grace out here that we can make that a little uh, faster. 
faster transition. All right, if this says Fortnite, I'm going to be very upset. That's fair. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Humans. Constantly taking my gorgeous world and making memes all over it. I mean, it's not my world, but, you know. I don't know why I'm angrily attacking these crabs. They're, they're friendly. I'd like to apologize. Just a skull out there next to the edge where the Hydra can get you. I've seen this show before. No thank you. All right, so I'm s trying to spy a little, a little tinkle of light. Is that what they call it? A, t a tinkling in the distance. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly certain that's the word. Which will lead us to our fast travel point. My embarrassment at scouring the beach and the mist wood for that sight of grace last session will will never leave me, really. And that's the, my favorite part of nature. The fact that goats do that, both in the game and in real life. You know, that might have been a dream I had. Never mind. Penguins? Good to see you. As Benedict Cumberbatch would say. Penguins? Nice to, nice to see you here. I'm sorry, Benedict. You've... That's such an old reference. You've already made your penance for it. I shouldn't be bringing it up. Perhaps there is a sight of grace in the ruins. But that's also where the next group of desperately aggressive enemies is going to be... Huh? I thought for just a... just a little baby second... Beyond the horizon there, I saw a massive thing move. It could have been the tree, or I might be imagining things. Let's pick the latter. Because if it's a tree, I gotta get out of here. Here is our fast travel point, so now we can make it to the island any old time. From any location. I have that ability. Stunning, I know. Penguins. Yes. <laughs> I'm so glad someone else has reveled in Benedict Cumberbatch's perfect face and life. Failing to say penguins that one time. It's really all... All we've got as regular humans to lord over him. Interesting. Um... How confident are we? Like, give me, give me a percentage that he's dead. Uh, I'm 17% right now. As we get closer, that will increase until it rapidly drops back down to zero. <sighs> Alright, messages. Visions of hiding place. I bet I know where. The ritual of dragon communion. I would very much like to commune with the dragons. However, they all appear to be deceased. Alright, so I would need a dragon heart in order to learn three desperately powerful dragon incantations that all look fantastic. What system are we playing this on? This is a Series S, Xbox Series S. So I must need dragon hearts, which one must presume you get from exploring the rib cage of dragons. I'm not looking forward to that, but we'll be back for communion. I'll be a good boy. Not seen any items. They could be hiding under the roughage. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to point out your roughage. However, I'm so far uh, unattacked and loving it. Row of fruit, I'm assuming, is one of the ones that does uh, respawn. I haven't caught on to the differences yet. But I find a lot of row of fruit, so we should be fine. It also seems like almost everyone in that big convoy dragon wagon, if I can be a little... Mm, overt in my symbolism with you. <laughs> Those guys dragging the wagon all give you row of fruit when they die, too, so it shouldn't be a concern. However, stuff in dungeons I'll try to pay a bit more attention to. 
does sound like there's a scarab nearby. I don't think that's what they're called, but that's what I'm calling them. And Mr. Turtle, hey! It's nice to see you, Mr. Turtle. And it's nice to see you as well. Hello, hello, welcome. Is this not available on PC? I think it is, yeah. It should be available on PC. Aha! Bet you didn't expect that. A somber smithing stone. I made too light of the situation. Sorry. I didn't know. And any of your seedy little friends holding goodies for me down here? You tinkle and let me know. I already used tinkle for the the visual aspect of the light, so I should have made the joke that it's twinkling now, but never mind. Aha! Here is our secret item on the peninsula. More smithing stones. Good. One, one smithing stone. I've made that mistake again. I was like, we got two! Nope. You got one, and it's labeled two. Don't question it. <laughs> Eventually, I will catch on to that. Erba. Always a privilege. And that seems to be about it. Let's speed this up. So, I'm impressed. Not disappointed that the island does not have its own boss. At least, not until that dragon wakes up. I was expecting to die out here, but it's just a lovely tropical vacation so far. However, I am realizing more, more often than not, uh, I seem to be missing cellars that lead to underground areas, and I could be doing that here as well. I think at some point we should run back to the Dragon Burnt Ruins, as well as the Gate Front Ruins, which, according to a map I peeked at briefly just in Limgrave, um, has something there. Glad we checked. For a great... Hey! We're having goat meat tonight! Warm up the biryani. We're on our way. I can't wait. It's a personal favorite of mine. I'm sorry, goats. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no, I'm kidding. I'm... Don't... You, if you heard that, I'm absolutely kidding. So, I should make a habit of running back through ruins that I, in my confident, or should I say overconfident, ego, uh, have marked off. There may be some underground areas we're missing. We could also run down to the lower plateau there. I didn't see anything from the cliff of... Lips. The cliff above. But, if I was a game designer, I would hide all the special items behind the cliff above for that exact reason. I keep forgetting, too... Uh, I make this mistake all the time in Red Dead after they added that you can pick up herbs from your horse ability. By default, naturally, in Elden Ring, you can pick up herbs from your horse. And yet I'm always leaping off. I don't want to put his little teeth to trouble. Hey, pass that herb up here, would you? Oh, it tastes bitter. So just a quick check on the lower platform here. If I can remember where the lower platform is. Well, we're down there now. Ouch! Okay. <laughs> so much for my confidence in fall damage. I kind of thought that would be fine, but my mistake. Good thing we have a nearby side of grace. Sorry, friend. How are your hooves feeling? All right, they did put it on top of the cliff. Thank you for that. What did I just say about missing Erba? Oh, that wasn't one. I got so excited. Never mind, I didn't say anything about missing Erba. <laughs> no idea why I'm pronouncing it like that. It just seems appropriate. You gotta fancy it up a bit. We're in a kingdom, guys. Come on. Class it up. I am going to summon my steed. 
There's no real way to class that up. All right, so it may be that this is just the same one we already ran down to, also. You know, I think it is. I think we've done it. We, we said hi to Mr. Turtle. We did get something at that end. For whatever reason, I worked my way around the back here, and I thought there were two separate lower plateaus. So, that being the case, we can now fast travel back for Dragon Communion, but we may as well leave via fast travel. Instead of walking back through the tunnel, we did get our tailor's tools. I have to look at those in my inventory. Uh, another thing I will need to look at in my inventory should be at the gatefront ruins. In the aforementioned cellar I missed, in my ignorance, and... I don't know what else. Dotage? Is that appropriate? In my dotage, I've missed some cellars. So, um... They do appear to be letting me summon... spirits. That would be a lot easier than taking these guys all out myself again. So we've already had the experience once. However, I'll clean up the edges on anyone who isn't paying attention. Hey, it's me. Well, you better wake up and pay attention. If you want to be somebody. If you want to... You're welcome to clap. If you want to go somewhere. Guess who recently watched the Sister Act movies? Mm, you'll never guess. It's a secret. All right, so that back there is like the main camp. There's a couple of guys sleeping. There's a wolf that is friendly to them. Let me try to get this guy. Oh, not an execution. Well, that's disappointing. Frankly, I was just trying not to get any closer than I already was to his ass. And that was my downfall. Speaking of downfall, that ass. <laughs> How are those things related? He's seen me. I wasn't crouched. I wasn't crouched at all. Mm, ouch. Where's my stamina pool? That you just savaged. Without a second thought. Without a care in the world. Okay. Big guy there with the plume. He has about double the health. Oh, it took you a while to find the clap, but that's fine. I didn't mean to rush you. <laughs> so I, I want to pay particular attention to Plume, a boy, when we start the battle proper here. Particular attention meaning the poison of my spirit jellyfish. Don't want to get them all involved in a big cluster like that would do. I made it! Oh, hey. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Very generous. Thank you. I was not sneaking. Alright, so what I'm looking for is a set of stairs going down. Probably towards the middle of the camp. I just now saw you there in the bushes. Hey! What are you doing in those bushes? Clever boy. Mm. Not clever enough. Alright, everyone's scrambling on top of the tents, writing naughty little meme messages. That can't improve relations between our peoples. The player base and these tree surcoat knights. Oh, I need to start paying better attention, too, to, like, the lore of what everyone's wearing. Who am I killing? And why? What does the lion and tree crest mean? Hmm. Let's take a second and think about it. If you want to just bring your chairs closer to the front of the lecture hall here, we're going to look in our inventory at this armor type, the tree and beast surcoat. Tell me more. Simple view. Nope. A uh, switch view. That's the one. Armor worn by soldiers loyal to Godric the Grafted. 
presumably a future boss. The surcoat depicts the distant Erd tree, I see that, and the beast regent, an emblem of the golden lineage. Both are symbols of glory now past. All right, so they work for Godric the Grafted. And I'm, oh, murdering all of his guys. You can get up now. Yeah, the lecture is over. So, let's figure out what would be most helpful for a group of soldiers here. I'm guessing one jellyfish might not be the might not be the thing. We've got a group of wolves that could be helpful, or we have wandering noble ashes. That looks like I guess maybe one of those horn-blowing guys with a banner and his torchman. That could be good. Let's try wolves. Wolves sound like more fun. And commence. I didn't know I had such a powerful bell. Alright. Let's kick some ass, guys. Specifically ass. I don't want to see you biting faces. See? Take after me. That's what I want you to do. No. Oh. Mm, you horny such and such. You've attracted plume, gentlemen. That is exactly what I wanted to avoid. Okay. Hi. And hi to you. Oh no! I got overconfident with my wolves. Nothing can hurt me in a s storm of wolves. <laughs> I don't know what word I was groping for there. Fondling for it more accurately. Are you still not dead? Really? my mistake. Oh, I'm sorry, Papa. Why do you have so much health? Is it the plume that does it? Is that how you have so much health? Oh, and such a physically resistant shield. Alright, wolves are gone. Man, I love jumping. That worked out great. It didn't work out as great as I hoped. He's flanked me. while I was staggered. He really does get around for a gentleman with so much metal on his butt. So much metal. Luckily, there are many um, sights of grace around here, so even though I'm doing terribly, I should be alright. Wow. Hard to get in there. Let me around the side. I just want to peek. I want to peek around the side. Yeah, you know exactly where I'm going. <laughs> to split these guys up, too. Ah, oh, teamwork. Beautiful. Love to see it. Alright, let me see if I can get them off of me and come back at this. While I'm on the defensive, we're not doing very well. I'm going to try to be offensive again. Sneaky. He's back. He found me. Where's the other guy? Where'd you go? Oh, really? <laughs> he earned it. You know what? That's fair. I'll try that again. I knew Plume Gentleman was going to be the death of us. Steak of Marika or the Last Sight of Grace? Mm, I guess Steak of Marika. Sure. I'm hoping I rested at the nearby side of Grace, but I can't recall. Ah, do you have a helmet? I think you need more defense. I do need more defense, and I do have a helmet, but we have this silly little uh, blindfold on from our character creation, and I haven't wanted to mess with the aesthetic. So yeah, I am dying an awful lot. I'll try to fix that. I don't know why I'm not backstabbing at times. It must be a problem between the controller and the chair. So, this way. We'll try to take out the outskirts guys again, as that helped a lot. Including gentlemen hiding in the bushes, as he is credited. So, your peripheral vision. Tell me. How... 
is it? Good, seems good. Yeah. Sorry, Godric. So there is one directly in that corner, another one off to the side. He must have been sleeping, is my thought, or they would have attacked me at the same time. So maybe I can still go around and get this guy and then drop down on the other. Or at least get a hit in before he stands. Let's try doing that. Though it's cutting into our speed running time significantly. <laughs> speed running. It's just a little joke. Oh, that peripheral vision. I really appreciate it. Alright, he's up. He's ready. When you're not constantly backtracking and being killed by things, it sure does help. You there. I'll go around, not to worry. If you see a blur in the distance, just ignore it. You're ignoring it, right? I'm not I'm not paying attention. I'm trusting you. Good. I, I think this is genuinely closer than the stake of Marika at the top of that hill. It's no big deal either way. But now we know. Provided I've rested there. I'm also wearing an aristocrat's coat, which isn't the most defensible thing. Again, I'm prioritizing my aesthetic over what would keep me alive in this desperately dangerous world. Mm, foolish, one might say. There's the horn man. Hey, horn man. No, don't stand. Why would you stand at a time like this? Where's plume man? Well, he is coming this way, but oh well. I'm gonna go for it. No, you didn't see anything, plume man. You saw nothing. Oh, I didn't expect that to work. All right, back to these guys then. I can't remember exactly how close they are, so we'll crouch. I have not yet got a proper feel for their detection range, but it seems to be fine about here. And you're coming. I see that. Good. Good. Everyone's welcome. And everyone's invited to Dragon Communion. Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> not that way. Don't turn around and discover me. Turn around and go about your business. Pillage a corpse. There's something... Uh, what's the word? Unnervingly delightful about pillaging a corpse. Every time I see that prompt, I'm like, ah, oh, what fun. I can't wait. I think I need some mm, therapy, is what I'm saying here. All right, so there's a couple of guys. He's got his wolf out there. Plume guy is mostly alone, so if I can take out that middle section, we should be in much better shape. Just be a little bit, uh, overzealous in my avoidance. That's when he turns around. I'd also just kind of like to get him right there. Oh, I forgot about you. After all this time, I forgot about Dre. Dre is dead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. Anyone else gonna provide me an easy kill? Mr. Wolf? Takers? You're looking right at me. Well, that's not gonna be good for my detection.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, there's two wolves. I see them now. One sleeping, one on patrol. Yikes. Fair enough. Mm, nothing happened. It's a mystery, even to me. You guys go ahead and investigate. I'll be over here. Oh, there are my souls. From my foolishness. Hi. Nice to see you here. Alright. Just out of curiosity, did that distract... the rest of the guys away from Plume Guy, or did Plume Guy come with? He's pretty alone now, but they're just returning to their positions. I'm in the rocks. I'm just a rock. So slippery. Don't come close. Wow, they are all bunched up now. Like a wretch's G-string. Too much? I'm sorry. I'll pull it back. Oh no, popcorn! I do apologize. I'm so sorry. Is that better? Am I dead? I wasn't paying attention. Thank you so much for the uh, warning there. I hate when that happens. I must have knocked something. Much better. Good. Okay. So sorry if that took me a while to catch on to. For whatever reason, I can never hear it. Which is the... the crying shame of the whole endeavor. If I could hear it, it would be easy to fix. So it might be time to go ahead and, and whip out the wolves. But I'm still kind of hoping we'll get lucky here, running our Metal Gear Solid path. Turn around. Every now and then I fall apart. And I need you now, tonight. Oh, I need you more than ever. And you'd only be making things right. We'll be holding on. <laughs> Forever. What a shame. All right. Tinkle, tinkle. Ouch. Hit me while I was tinkling. I think that's in the Geneva Convention. Big no-no. Plume man. Good to see you there. Oh, they took out the wolf. Thank you. All right, now take out his his stupid ass. Is that is that fair to say? I don't mean to be derogatory, but. Kill his stupid ass. No, they're busy. It's just him and me. That's fair. Bye! What are you guys doing back here? Stop it! You're being naughty. No, you are all good boys. Down to the last boy. Held in there a little longer than I should have. Yeah, get him. Get him good. Get him real good. Mm. Not the time. Oh, oh, there we go. He's just got a sliver. It's fine. Knights, I tell you what. Ooh, Carolina Reaper popcorn and Ghost Pepper popcorn sound amazing. I hope that's not a new tier of audio issue I'm having. It said Carolina Reaper popcorn, Peter. You've got to pull it. <laughs> sounds delicious. So, there, right in front of my eyes, you may, you may notice with your eyes, if you have any sense of perception whatsoever, the giant hole in the ground I missed. This is what I was hoping to find. Let me just do one more quick sweep. Make sure there's not somebody coming in to make my day sad. Hopefully not. And, now that we know where it is, if we die... Uh, terribly and tragically down here, we can probably run past the guys. Though I don't want to fight a bunch of wolves and knights in this tiny corridor. 
So no to that plan. Immediate no. Oh good, it's not a boss. I was worried. Mmm, probably safe. As I did, I did cheat and look at what was in here, but probably safe. Whetstone knife, that's the one. Now, feel free. I didn't mean to press that, but you go ahead. Now we should be able to... I forget which one that upgrades. Maybe actual ashes of war? I'm not sure. Let's check. Um, lecture hall. Good. I like to roleplay in that manner. In that manner. And others. Um, what was I looking for? Key items, probably. Whetstone knife. Here we go. Can add new battle arts and affinities to weapons. So that would be like, if you don't want a shield parry, you can put something else on your shield. And affinities must be like the type of weapon it is. Slashing versus striking, etc. I'm guessing. Affinities might be a new third thing. Don't take my word for it. Bach, the demi-human's prized sewing needle. Which does... A large sewing needle. It's... Uh, you don't know what it does. It's fine. Don't question it. Enables armor alterations at Sites of Grace. I definitely need to check that out. I think that's all of our new key items. And those are the three that I was worried I might have missed. So now I'm back to being unspoiled in my knowledge of the game. I just didn't want to continue on, like, if we beat the boss and got into Stormvale Castle. I didn't want to be missing some very necessary basic items. Checking at the side of Grace up here if I can use the Tailor's Kit immediately. Or if I might have to go back to, like, the round table and speak with someone. I see the question there. What do we have to do to get more journeys of mouth heat? That is a very good question. I <laughs> don't have any more in stock at the moment, because I did the ones I knew about. Other than the uh, Toe of Satan, which I did not do, purely because I did the little nitro gummy bear the same week I was going to do the Toe of Satan. And by the time I got back to the Toe of Satan, it did not look in uh, the best condition. Sorry, Satan. I don't mean to criticize. So, alter garments, and presumably the whetstone knife added this option, Ashes of War. Which I could already do at, like, the War Master's Shack, but great to be able to have the ability myself. So, I don't really want to change my shield parry. I'm terrible at shield parrying, but I think I'll keep that in now. Really cool to know you can get, like, a gust of wind. A stompy gust. We're going to have to play with those and see which ones are the most exciting. Ooh, you would gladly contribute to Peter's magical journeys of mouth heat. I can barely speak as it is. And you want to continue contributing? <laughs> I'm so grateful. I can't wait. To this day, the best challenge I've done in terms of... Mm, after effects and taste during was the Death Nut Challenge. That was insanely delicious. Like, I would actually buy those as a snack all the time. However, Little Nitro Gummy Bear, mm, worst experience of my life. <laughs> it was fine at the time, but the actual, like, capsaicin cramps for 16 hours afterwards were unlike anything I've experienced. I can't remember if I came back around and told you guys that story about the aftermath. It's hardly appropriate for children. Ah, uh, do I have enough to level up? Perfect. That'll put me right down into the middle again. The middle being completely poor. That's, that should tell you what my financial situation is like, that I consider the middle to be having nothing at all. I do still want to bump up my intelligence, faith, and arcane. Particularly arcane, because it kind of seems like there's two classes of magic in the game with, like, different subsets attached to them. 
and they are basically like intelligence is for sorceries, faith is for miracles slash incantations. And arcane just increases both, but it also increases your item discovery. So that thing I was talking about where you can kill almost any item in the game and eventually you will get the weapon or the armor they're using. This would make that happen much more quickly if my arcane stat was off the charts. However, it's not really helping any of my main abilities at the moment. So we're still leaving it down. I'm going to go ahead and give myself some more FP. Take me up to 87. And wasted. Level 24. We're growing. Slowly but surely. So, I did not actually check this. I kept getting distracted. Armor alterations. What do you got for me? Okay, so it's only specific sets, I assume. One of which is my Vagabond Knight Armor. You cannot get a peek at what the enhanced version would look like, I suppose. And I do not have enough of... Mm, so sorry. <laughs> that was very loud in my headset. I do not have enough, uh, I'm assuming, runes to pay for it now. Because I just leveled up. But oh well, we'll check later. Lovely to be able to do that. Just to make sure I didn't uh, kick it back into popcorn time, did I? I hope I'm still coming through loud and clear. So, we have now found our way to this island. We have a fast travel spot there. We've gotten our tailoring items, and we've gotten our whetstone knife. That is fantastic. There is another thing here that I've not spoiled for myself, but looks very likely to be a dungeon. Let's go check it out, since it's nearby. Don't want to distract myself with that one, though. Goodbye. Gorgeous. I like that everything takes a little time. Like the red sky of Kaelid and your waypoints. They drift out of the world lazily, like a memory. Makes me happy. Because I'm so lazy. I feel relatable. <laughs> okay. Almost down here. We keep coming down this little hill and then following the road out east. But we've never backtracked to look at this side of the cliff. So sounds like a potential bug. Looks like one of the health ones. Let me refresh my memory. Yeah, I think all that does is give you an extra crimson flask. Or a flask of crimson tears. Ew! Thank you. I'll squeeze the gold out of that later when I've got some downtime. Some really downtime. Dragon, good to see you. Ah, so yeah, this might be... <laughs> I think I know why we've never found this cave. The dragon is guarding it, and I'm too frightened. Are they giving me that as a little... Go ahead, drop off the cliff onto that. You'll be fine. Or is it indeed a trap? Is it a desperate ruse from a madman at the end of his pitiful rope? Probably, yeah. I'm just going to get as low as I can. Fine. Sorry, horse. Ouch. That wasn't fine. No no beef here, sir. You enjoy your swamp day. Love you. His health bar has not appeared. And as I say that, it will appear. Oh, good. Oh, good. We're fine. All right. Here is the hidden dungeon that has been hiding right near the gate front the entire time. Wish I had that lantern. That is an item I might spoil for myself and go find the map location for. Limgrave Tunnels. Ooh, it's got an elevator and everything. Quite the commitment. All right, we'll go for it. And then we'll stand just to the side, just in case. If I had a nickel for every time standing just to the side has saved my life in a Dark Souls game. I'd have, like, 15 cents. 
What is the sound I'm hearing? Miners? Happy-go-lucky dwarves in the mines? Pulling out that big, big diamond crystal? I'd like to help, if I can. I'd genuinely love to help. They are giving me a stake. That's not good news. A stake is basically a way of saying, you're gonna die in here. More quickly than you think. Are you distracted by the lust for gold? Or will you turn on me? We have an accord. I, too, lust for gold. He's throwing! It's dung-tinged excrement. Wait, that's not how they phrased it. Stop it. Your behavior is shocking and you're scaring the children with your excrement. I'll take that pickaxe, yeah. Okay, looks like a dead end in there. As he's lighting it up for us quite nicely. We have a passageway out there and a passageway here. We'll start here. Is this the lantern? Is this it? Go ahead. Rope it. Oh, I found that twine. Just rope it to your back. Another elevator. Does it go further down? Do one of these messages tell me? Try rolling. No sword fighter ahead. So there's almost certainly a sword fighter ahead. <laughs> there is a ledge down there, but you can also see a couple of people might have missed it. So he's not lying, but he's still led to many player deaths. Clear out a little space for us here. Interesting. Okay. Let's check down the other passage, see if it results in something similar. Waiting to see which wooden beam I'm going to be slashed in the face from out from behind of. There was a better way to make that sentence. Aww. Oh, a little overconfident in my reach today. Mm, hey! I didn't know you were in an alliance with the rats. Oh, my back. It's been pickaxed. Please die. Please? What other word do I have to say to get you to perish? Jelly rolls? Will that do it? Alright, that is all the rats. We've got a smithing stone one. Fantastic. I think that's the one we still need to increase our katana strength. So we should be clear to go on and head down. That is another one of the guys with the baskets on their back, rather than normal miner. That makes me greedy. Um, hi. Does that basket of dung on your back prevent backstabs? Nope. Not even a little bit. Really. All that build up. Eh. And then run away. It's my motto. Eh. And then run away. Hey. Stop it. <laughs> Smack on the back. Hey there. All right. Going down. No, oh, I forgot. Mm. There's a ledge. Think carefully. Is the ledge itself a ruse? Hey, how are you doing? There's no voice chat, so I'm just... just very lonely.
All right, so far so good. Thanks, messages. First off, sadness. What about it? What about the sadness? I mean, I possess it, yes. What are you trying to say? I, s I do actually seem to get like a buff. A little glow of uh, something helpful. I'm not sure what. Whenever I get that message that someone in the Seekers group has beat the Shardbearer. Thank you. Yes. All right, should be safe to jump down from here, I'm assuming. Not sure why that was necessary. No items. Did I miss an item? Pack ahead. Of wolves? Or of something much, much worse? It's a lot of blood in here. Oh, it's feral dogs. My favorite. Not to kill, though. It's maybe second least favorite to kill. So it looks like there's just one. Thanks, message. Try fire. Okay. Since this did help me, I'll give him some props. Good. And I'm sure fire will also help me, so I'm going to give them some props. It seems like in this one, when you leave a message, if someone rates it good, I'm not sure if it's when they rate it at all, but at least when they rate it good, you get like a health boost or another flask charge or something like that. So may as well help out a struggling player. Here they come. All right. Didn't get the torch in time. Probably not necessary with uh, the amount of damage my katana is doing. Ouch. He is very sturdy. Not much good for poking or striking. I didn't mean to phrase it that way. I, that's probably really hurtful to your self-esteem. You are good for poking and striking, sir. A glint stone scrap. I don't know what that does yet. Can't wait to find out. So, as it turned out, really neither the pack ahead nor the uh, try fire message helped me out all that much, but still, I appreciate your time. Gotta be better at making sure I kill them. I was also very close to, uh... So sorry, let me run back up here. I didn't realize there were collectible items. I see someone has made the comment that there are collectible items. The things that they were mining. Let me run back up and make sure I didn't miss one in his cave. And thank you for the suggestion. I forget what I was saying. Hardly important. See if we get another smithing stone out of the deal here. Yes, that would have been terribly foolish. Thank you for your uh, word of wisdom there. I need those quite desperately. Just to double check, there wasn't one where he was hanging out. No. Good. Now anything that has the, the smallest of orange glows, I'm chasing down to the ends of the earth. All right, back down here. We still haven't rested. We still have a couple of flasks. We're taking the proper elevator route this time. Oh, I think I must be missing something about that shortcut. Otherwise, why the shortcut? The long cut? Suspicious. Back out here. We're heading out this way. There is something back there. Nice. Thank you. Secret passage ahead. Really? Really? No. 
There was a passage halfway down the elevator shaft. Mm, going back again. I'm learning so much. <laughs> this session, and I dearly appreciate it. Okay, we'll jump down again. Send the elevator down. I must have walked right past it. Aha, that one there. I see it now. Alright, you go down. And so it's this way. Uh, that must be why he was saying, think carefully. Because you can go that way, the way you're facing. Alright, it could be that it also leans over there with a little bit less fall damage, but I hope we'll be fine. Ooh, we're fine. Okay. What is this? Thank you again. More guys. Fantastic. Hmm. He's got a lantern. Mind if I take that off of you, sir? Along with your tasteful loincloth. Just to wash it, not for... Hanky. Or hanky or anything. Wrong way! <laughs> I didn't know you could redirect a charged shot like that. Ouch. Alright. Oh boy! Oh boy, what a mistake. Okay. Silly of me. Down to two flasks. Just have to roll with it. Good boy. No. Flip it around. I beg of you. Good boy. Now you. Flip it around. Oh, you're here. Really? What's that? Pyromancy. Disgusts me to picture it. Uh, not doing very well, I guess. The guys who need a striking weapon in order to damage them. I suppose I could just switch to the flail or something if we're having too much trouble. I just have very hard skin for something that pierces. Should take him out while he's alone need to figure out something ranged. I do have a short bow, but that only carries you so far. One flask left, and way, way too many guys. Alrighty. Down even deeper. I'm starting to get scared. Come back and check if there's a way down. There does seem to be multiple ledges. Okay. We have arrived at a great wooden gate of sinister properties. Hello, sir. Nothing behind any of the elevators. Small candle. What is this trying to tell me? Mm. Calcium deposits, no doubt. I assume something the boss we're about to face will also be riddled with. That's a big face behind the gate. Hey there, big face. I don't know if I'm capable of defeating a larger version of something with stone skin. Hmm. Let's take a peek. Oh, we're peeking. I still have wolves equipped. Ah, that's how they get you. We're in. I really don't know if my shield is going to do much good, so I might need to do your two-handed trick there. 
to pierce through his skin. Not the time for a second strike. No, no, no. Let's try something. I doubt he'd be tremendously resistant to poison. Okay. <laughs> Spam it on out of there. Okay, we have a couple of wolves to distract him for a moment. That moment won't last long. Let's make the best of it. Thanks. Right. Yeah, there. I just want this leg. Turn around. Good time. And I'm out of flasks. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I didn't do very good against the miners on the way down here. I mean, first of all, I was fighting a bunch of kids. That's not good. So we're gonna die. We'll just embrace it. I guess I should stop locking onto him, because it doesn't really help. So at the very, very bottom... Sorry, didn't mean to point out your bottom. At the very, very bottom of... What is it called? <laughs> I've completely forgotten. This mine, we will find the Stone Digger Troll. And that's great. I can't wait to be able to beat the Stone Digger Troll. Limgrave Tunnels, that was it. A simple name. Ah, I'm directly under the gate front ruins now. Traveled quite a bit. So they did give me a stake. That's awesome. I was worried it would be, oh, all the way back to the front. I guess, weirdly, this is just still in the, like, secret path, right? Quote-unquote secret. So there's still something down at the bottom of the other elevator. Potentially. But we'll run down here once more. Yikes. Really just got more into it. Ouch. Goodbye forever. We have more potions this time, at least. Two extra potions. There does not seem to be any NPC summon for this. Thank you. I kind of hoped he would hit the button with his weighty corpse. That would have been funny. But you can't have everything. So, what I'm thinking, probably not the best idea f uh, for, for the wolves to be involved in this fight. What are our other options? Do we have anything like, maybe he can be poisoned? I don't know. Uh, maybe he can be shot from a distance by a noble sorcerer. Let's try it with this. Though I have to be in my... Here we go. Trying the jellyfish on everything, really, is just fun to do. Alright. Yikes. Though I was just enjoying the fact that I can redirect a strike at any time before I go for it. It seems the bosses can, too. Ah, such a shame to miss. Because of my weird auto-aiming. Or lock-on, rather. Maybe I can just keep him distracted while the jellyfish poisons him right nice. Poison him. This looks good. This looks helpful. Oh, there's a thing on his back. Get me out of here. Get me onto your back. Oh, never mind. Keep swinging. Keep swinging. Oh, not now. Not at this exact moment, but later. Now roll. 
Roll away. <laughs> You're very close. Don't die foolishly. He's winding up. And the pitch. Great reflexes. One more hit should do it. Kind of want to just leave it to Jellyfish at this point. But I want the distraction. Oh, so much stamina gone. There he is. Ah. We've got the roar medallion. I don't know what that does. It's a medallion rather than a talisman. And where would such, th such a thing be? Hmm. One continues to wonder. Here we go. So it is a talisman. Okay, great. And it does. Enhances roars and breath attacks. Awesome. I'm very much a Subi. I love rings in the past Dark Souls game. One of my very favorite things was finding rare and incredibly awesome rings. Like the dark wood grain ring. And so I'm very excited about talismans as well. But one of the things I'm thinking they must give you the, uh... It's been such a long day. I can't think of words. <laughs> they must give you a break and give you more talisman slots, is what I'm thinking. Right now we only have the one. I can get back out to the start of the area. There was nowhere else to go down here. But there is potential potentially another elevator path. Let me get back up to the top. We'll restore our potions, and then we'll go on a little journey. A little journey of discovery. What do you have to say for yourself? I did it! You did. Good for you. All right. So, I have been taking up way too much of your time here. I'm so excited to get a little bit more of this in during the week. Hopefully we'll have future opportunities later days. If not, I will see you again on the weekend here. But we're not done quite yet. That sounded like a very closing speech. And then my Batman smoke bomb goes off and I'm gone before I know it. Probably back uh, inside. At the base of the elevator. Yes. It's all coming flooding back to me now. I want to put a little bit more... I was not expecting there to be a ghost on it. Hi. I put a bit more thought and care into uh, fully exploring areas here. So I think that's where we were. However, I might be thinking of the second elevator. There might be a thing halfway down that one, too. We're going to have to check. Speaking of being thorough... Alright, so that was a dead end. This is the second elevator. I want to go all the way to the third. Or maybe I'm just desperately confused. Either way, there won't be any troll to greet us. Yeah, it kind of seems like there's a middle passage on all three elevators. Or at least, stair steps down. Back to the pack. Good to see you. I'll just take you out now, so that it doesn't get crowded down there. Yikes! Not locked onto him. There he is. And you, sir. Alright, let me try your helpful tip here about dual wielding. Yeah. Helps if you don't miss. But yeah, that totally takes away the stagger effect. Thank you so much. Hard to get through his skin before. A little something from the pooch. 
Thanks, Pooch. Keep your bones as a memento of you. Alright. Nothing down that way. So, that, that was what I thought was a door. This, this is why we're down here. I thought that this was another passage. I just wasn't close enough to it with a light source to discern. That is not the case. And this is, in fact, a fully explored dead end. Fully, in quotes, explored, in quotes, dead end. <laughs> so good, that's fine. There may be another middle uh, passage on one of the first two elevators that I'm not... that I haven't been down yet. But we can safely assume there's no deeper level of the cavern. Just wanted to double check. I see a dark shape that looks like a doorway, and I will not let it slide. But sorry to waste your time. I was hoping that might be something exciting before I quit out on you. No. Oh. <laughs> Catching on. There we go. Finally. It takes me a little bit too long to switch to dual wielding something still. I have to practice before a major boss battle that requires it. I think he would have heard a little ruckus by now, but nope. He is just hard at work. Thank you for your materials. Mm, so dark. Are these his? All those little goodies on the way out. Really? Fancy moves. Yikes. Don't have a shield. Keep remembering that. Keep that in your brain. There he is. All right. Let's see if we can at least get a drop of excitement. Wring it out of the cloth of seeing if I have enough smithing stones to increase my katana one more time. My uchi katana? Don't need to. I've, I've done that thing again, where I rest to fast travel. You don't need to. I might need to get out of the tunnels first, but they're taking pity on me. Let's go back all the way to the round table. We'll speak to the blacksmith here. Make sure no new NPCs have arrived, too. We should be checking in from time to time. But then we should be close to done. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for watching me die and flail with my clammy hands. What a privilege. Not seeing anybody new in the main room. She still wants to hold me quite desperately. I'm gonna have to succumb at some point to see what that does. Until then, don't touch me! You don't know where I've been. No matter, it's all the same. Lay out your own. Okay, strength and armament. We do have ten out of the required six. Let's do it. That should bring this up to plus three, I think. Must be going to three, yes. Perfect. Now we need smithing stone two, so we're up to the second level. Elite smithing stones. Journeyman smithy stones? Can I afford it? Yeah. So a plus four Uchigatana. I'm super excited. Thank you. I'll leave the conversation appropriately. Quick check in here, just to make sure, and then why not, since it's been a little bit of a tradition so far to give a swipe at Margit before we leave for the day. Let's uh, see how this plus four sword handles. It's plus four sword handles. I love that hilt. Terrible joke. I'm not... I'm not proud, and you shouldn't... You shouldn't praise me for this. <laughs> now it sounds like I'm leading the witness. Rest at the Table of Grace. I did not know that it was in itself a bonfire. I kept looking around for a sight of grace. It's here. It's the big one. Fantastic. All right. Um, I can do all the same normal things. Not seeing any new options there, so... Fantastic. 
Back we go. To Margate. And our inevitable pile of lost souls that we will weep over. Our tears slowly becoming corrupted with crystalline structures and forming into a second optional mini-boss. During the first boss. Margit, no! How did you use my tears? I wouldn't put that past them at all. That's probably a game mechanic that is in this game, really. It's a pleasure to watch you die repeatedly. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad. <laughs> so, the question is, in this attempt, should we highlight the swords plus two, since last time, plus two functionality, or should we get Sorcerer Rogier and our Jellyfish... I'm gonna keep saying that. Jellyfish friend, not Jellyfish friend. <sighs> Let's try it. Highlighting the sword first. I, again, have a bunch of souls. Not really important. He's taking it easy on me. Don't take it easy on me. I, I will want a weapon for it, though. You know, just in case. That's the button I was looking for. There we go. Alright. Back in action. So delayed. Goodness. That gets me every time. Him and the Nameless King. Alright. Mm -hmm. I don't really like doing that when I'm not right up in his grill, but here we go. What? Did you throw something? I didn't feel it. Desperately damaging my bride. And those delayed strikes again. Good, good. That's all part of the bargain game. Really hard to dodge those while you're actively sipping. Delayed. We got it that time. That was probably the worst first phase I've done, full stop. Yikes. Didn't get the dodge in. Got the dodge in. Ah, oh, somehow still caught me. Probably my fault. I'm getting greedy. <laughs> there we go. We've highlighted the sword with some rather subpar swordplay. Not as good as last time we tried it, but we're getting closer to market. In fact, we could probably handle one more attempt here um, and bring Sorcerer Rogier into the, into the mix. Not sure if it's really worth that rather than just a jellyfish, but we'll see. Any distraction helps. Thinking we'll try jellyfish first. Which means jellyfish, good. One more try. Oh, so glad I got that off first. It was a close one. I always hope when it takes that huge bit of health off of him that it will uh, also stun him and give me the opportunity for a critical hit, but it so rarely does. I don't know what stuns him and gives me the opportunity for a critical hit. Ouch! I wanted to be way out of range of that. Darn! <laughs> that was quick. We'll try that one more time. Got him down to half. Real easy that time. But this will be the last, I promise. I must go eat. And we've just hit 100 minutes. That's too much of your time. 
Hello, hello. So nice to see you there. Am I winning? Hmm. A complicated question. It's not. I'm not. <laughs> it's not complicated. Okay. Back to the jellyfish, then. Here we go. Try to get your souls, just in case. Try to dodge his daggers. Try not to die. Take advantage. He's back in the jellyfish game. Good for you. Yikes. Darn, I was hoping to get that off before he got his hammer. Didn't make it. And didn't make it. Thanks, Jellyfish. Okay, he is poisoned. My Jellyfish is dead. Hate to bring such sad news to the party, but my Jellyfish is dead. Stop. Yikes. Good moves. Delayed striking, you nameless king, you. He really comes after you towards the end. It's like there really isn't a boss battle here, if you consider the first phase. But the second phase... <laughs> oh, there's the boss battle. I see it now. got me again. It was almost down to the same level we got him that one time. See you soon, Market. That was my last try. I do appreciate your patience. We'll get into that Stormvale castle yet. I do have a lot of leveling up to do, and a lot of growing as a person. But we'll get there. I am loving this game. It's so much fun to have the classic Dark Souls experience of being beaten away from your next... Ooh, I want to progress into the castle. No. And yet, we have an entire world out there to explore. It is such a beautiful feeling, being stuck in the same loop of eternal death, but having gorgeous exploration and new items to find. I cannot wait. I will be back with you at my next possible opportunity. Until then, I'll leave you with this... Uh... Gentle bow. Let's get into some better light, so that I may gently bow at you. There you go. Bye for now. So nice to see you guys. See you soon.